After learning about all the features of the walking environment that you want to look at during a walk audit, it may feel a little overwhelming to go out and try to keep track of everything you observe and experience. But know that you're not the only one taking notes and snapping pictures. This is the reason we like to conduct walk audits in groups. Each of us brings a different perspective and each of us might be interested in different aspects of the walk. Also, a walk audit is both a data collection exercise and a community engagement exercise. Sharing and listening to others' experiences is as valuable as noting the need for a new crosswalk. That said, here are a few tools and tips on recording your walk audit observations. A map of the walking route is critical and gives all participants important information about where you'll be going and what you'll be seeing along the way. You can print copies of a map or use a navigation app like My Maps to create a digital map. Printed maps allow people to take notes, but digital maps also have features that allow you to input information. Printed maps, clipboards, and pens are the simplest, most popular way to collect information and encourage people of all ages to participate. A prompt sheet that summarizes the elements that participants will look at is also really important and helpful for those that want to make sure they're capturing everything. But remember, this is not an inventory exercise, but a time to better understand how the elements you see affect how you feel on the street. Do you feel safe and welcome walking here? So prompt sheets that ask questions like, do you have enough time to cross the street? Or is there a shaded bench for you to sit on if you need a break? These sheets encourage reflection about your experiences in addition to collecting valuable information about the quality of the walking environment. Finally, bring a camera, take tons of pictures, not just of broken curb ramps or missing sidewalks, take action shots, people walking, take videos of speeding traffic, there's a tendency to record only the negative aspects of the area, but remember to capture the positive things that are happening there, like really busy storefronts or cars yielding to people while crossing the street or people sitting on a stoop laughing. That's really it. A map, a list of things to look out for, and a camera. And remember, you don't have to record everything. Focus on capturing the things that help you make your point and put together your final product. Have fun. Make sure to gather all participants at the end to share out observations and conversations you had along the way. Have a point person that people can email photos and comments to, or decide on a shared photo album platform like Facebook, Google Photos, or something else that's easy for participants to use and submit. If this was a virtual walk audit, set a time to discuss or share the observations as a group 